Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to look at some history and the progress of Ampol. Ampol is the iconic Australian company in the petroleum industry. In 1936, the Australian Motorist Petrol Company Limited was created to take on the established overseas owned oil companies that dominated the Australian market at that time. The Australian Motorist Petrol Company, simply known as Ampol, was incorporated by a Sir William Walkley in 1936 in New South Wales. This was in response to Australia's concern about perceived inequitable petrol pricing, the allegations of transfer pricing by foreign oil companies to limit their tax liabilities in Australia. The Australian Motorist Petrol Company was listed on the Australian Securities Exchange in 1948. A year later, it changed its name to the iconic brand that would be loved across Australia for many years to come, Ampol Petroleum Limited. After a number of years, the company known as Ampol Petroleum Limited was owned by Pioneer International. The Coltax brand in Australia separately began in 1941 to market petrol to its chain of service stations as was owned by Coltex Australia Limited. In 1995, the Ampol and Coltex operations merged to form Australian Petroleum, equally owned by Pioneer and Coltex Australia. Pioneer sold its shareholdings between 1997 and 1998 and Coltex Australia gained full ownership of Australian Petroleum. Coltex Australia then gradually replaced the Ampol brand with Coltex over the next decade. The company then housed three iconic brands, Ampol, Coltex and Golden Fleece. From 2001 until 2015, Coltex Australia was owned equally by the American petroleum company Chevron Corporation and the Australian public until Chevron sold its shareholding to the public. In December 2019, Chevron, owned by the Coltex trademark, gave notice to Coltex Australia to terminate the license agreement for use of the Coltex brand in Australia. In May 2020, the company officially changed its name and began to rebrand as Ampol, along with a new logo that was rolled out across Australia between 2020 and 2022. So there you have it. That's a basic sort of history of Ampol, how it started, how it evolved and where it is now. Uh, what I have done also is further on in this video, I will put the drone up and I will take you to probably one of the more modern Ampol service stations in my local area. Um, and you'll find that it's also a truck stop. It's also a restaurant, um, but it's no longer called a roadhouse. And you'll see what I mean when we get there. And there's also facilities for those who have electric vehicles to use Ampol equipment to charge up their vehicles. So that's quite a big change for a lot of um, petroleum based companies. So without further ado, um, I'll leave it with you and please enjoy the video.
Now, just jumping in here, just to clarify a few things. Earlier on, I said this is the closest amp hole station to my home. Well, technically, it's not. There's a lot more amp hole stations closer. As some might have realised, I do live in the CBD of Melbourne, and I do commute to this area, which is Altona North, uh, probably once a month. And I noticed that this one had probably just been built in the last 18 months. So this is the newest sort of major petrol station that has food, it caters for truck drivers, it has a uh, truck stop, it also has the uh, EV vehicle charging points that are owned and operated by Ampol as well. So I just wanted to clarify that as we continue on with the aerial view. So here we are nearing the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did by all means click on that like button or that thumbs up icon and please subscribe. Subscribing really doesn't cost you one cent and it helps out the channel immensely. All references and credits will be in the description below. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.